In this video, we're going to take a look at how to bring an old OpenVSP2 model into OpenVSP3. Now, if you happen to have a copy of OpenVSP2 lying around, you'll recognize this user interface. And uh, this is what OpenVSP used to look like before the version 3 came around and uh, lots of really cool things started to happen. But what I've done is I've taken our pod plane example model here and I've built it up in VSP2 and I've already exported this out or saved it as uh, a regular VSP file instead of a VSP3 file. And so if you happen to be pulling something off of the OpenVSP hanger that's in the older VSP2 format, because that hanger has been around for a while, you, you'll want to be able to bring that into the newer versions of OpenVSP. So let's go and take a look at how that works. We'll just minimize all of these out and then bring up our OpenVSP3 window. Now you'll see here under file import, we have OpenVSP v2, and we can go looking for this. And so here's the pod plane VSP2 that we just had saved. And I didn't do anything to this file. All I did was save it in OpenVSP2. And what's going to happen here is that the new version of OpenVSP is going to look at all of those parameters, translate as best it can. If a component exists that matches one to one, great. If it doesn't, it's going to do some approximating. But for the most part, this will come in pretty clean. And so you can see that that model came in just fine. It includes the names, it includes the hierarchy, because a lot of that stuff is still similar between VSP2 and VSP3. And the components are you know, broken up. If it's a multi-section wing in VSP2, it's going to make a multi-section wing in 3, etc. Um, but, you know, it comes in and everything, as long as there are similar components, it should work just fine. You may find some examples where maybe a cross-section was defined uh, using a feature that's not available in OpenVSP3 because the, the way that it was set up and, and implemented didn't quite translate into OpenVSP3 in the, the new underlying code. So uh, when, that, when that stuff does happen, you can always go to VSP2, export an STL or something like that, and then come in and fix it in VSP3. A little bit of manual iteration on some of these models, but for the most part, it should just snap right in and you're good to go. So that's how you can go and grab older OpenVSP2 format files and bring them into OpenVSP3.